Hello, this is Randy Mack from Canadian Answers. And today we're going to talk about the signs of bear activity while hiking or biking or camping out in the wilderness in uh, British Columbia or Alberta or different parts of Canada and the U.S. where you may encounter bears. First sign of bear activity is the hair and scent left on trees. Uh, bears rub up against trees to communicate to other animals that the bear is in the area. So a lot of times you will find that there's hair. You can see the hair here on the tree and that will uh, communicate to you that there's a bear in the area. Next sign of bears are uh, bears that have climbed trees. And yes, bears do climb trees, believe me, I've seen them climb trees quicker than you can imagine, both grizzly bears and black bears and brown bears. The other sign of it is uh, buffalo berries or choke cherries or huckleberries or any kind of berries that are in the woods, uh, snap branches, uh, berries on the ground. Uh, bears love to eat berries. so. Keep an eye out for uh, berries on trees and the droppings on the ground. The other sign that I come across when hiking quite a bit is um, bears will actually go after insects to eat and they'll roll over huge rocks, small rocks, great big massive logs that no human could possibly move himself or herself. So just be aware when you see that uh, logs have been smashed and everything and if there's fresh ants that are out, then obviously what you want to do is uh, know that a bear is uh, very close in the vicinity and you want to go back on the trail that you came on. Like I said, uh, bears roll rocks and I've seen uh, bears roll massive size rocks to eat insects. The other sign is they dig holes to find plant roots and grubs, so keep an eye out uh, for uh, fresh digging holes. And of course, uh, bear tracks in the snow and also in the dirt. This is uh, bear tracks for grizzly bear tracks, and you'll notice the size of it uh, when you see it. Uh, it definitely will make your hair stand on end. This is black bear tracks along a wet gravel road. Uh, notice the difference uh, between the grizzly bear track. Is the size is quite different from a black bear track. Signs of bear activities, black bears, uh, difference between grizzly bear tracks, uh, the toe pads which form an arc by the lack of uh, uh, the claw imprints. You'll notice that there are no claw imprints. The grizzly bear will leave claw imprints. And obviously bear scat if you've hiked quite a bit, uh, like I have, uh, sometimes you'll see uh, bear scat along trails and sometimes it's a size uh, that your hat uh, couldn't even cover it. In early spring and summer, bears feed on vegetation, so the uh, bear scat is going to look a little different than the berry scat. And the other signs of bear activities, uh, Ravens, magpies, and crows uh, will look for, for animal carcasses, and you want to be aware of this. And animal carcasses, anytime you come across an animal carcass uh, that uh, has fresh meat on it or that, be extremely cautious. Uh, you're in uh, bear country, and what you want to do is you want to back up on the trail on the way you came in. Decomposing animals, so just be aware that uh, when you're in bear country, you're in nature and it is their territory and do whatever you can to avoid bears. This is Randy Mack from Canadian Answers. Be bear aware and bear smart and be safe when you're out in the wilderness. Enjoy your hike, bike or camping trip 